I'm going to go through everything you guys need to know about the Battle of Verdansk Vanguard reveal event in Warzone tomorrow, the times, all the free rewards and blueprints, missions, a part of the event, some early stuff leaking out for other parts of Vanguard, and some other information to go through here in today's video. If you guys are new and would like to subscribe, I'd greatly appreciate that, and be sure to drop a like on the video as well. Let's start off here first with the times. This reveal event for Vanguard in Warzone will begin at these times up on screen. Be be sure to comment down below if you guys have any questions on other time zones stuff like that and as i said in my recent video be sure to get into warzone as early as possible and do not leave the application make sure you stay in warzone to avoid any long queue this happens with me and a bunch of other people with the recent warzone nuke event a couple of months ago i backed out by accident i didn't realize the best thing to do was to stay in the queue stay in the game and do not reset because then it's a first come first serve thing so now you're all the way at the back of the line so the best thing anyway is to get into warzone at least an hour before it starts if you can if not you may have to wait a decent amount of time although maybe they fix the server issues maybe it's going to be kind of seamless this time around we'll hope and see what happens here hopefully everything is smooth for everyone everyone can enjoy the event right when it happens but some more stuff here with the event itself right before the event about an hour before as well they're kind of incentivizing you to get into warzone early anyway because you could get some early triple double xp bonuses here for normal xp the battle pass and a weapon xp so not a big deal it's only available in warzone but again they're incentivizing you to get into warzone about an hour early so i would 100 recommend doing that and i will be streaming tomorrow as well i'll start my stream about an hour and a half two hours before the event starts we'll go through react to it live should be a lot of fun so be sure to pull up then tomorrow call of duty gave us some pretty big info about what we're going to be doing for this battle of verdansk event tomorrow they say join squads from around the world for a warzone pve experience in the battle of verdansk drop in tomorrow so first of all super cool promotional images here but also this is a fully pve player versus environment event for the black ops cold war reveal event it was a mixture of both the actual challenges for the cold war event you had to go find different things and you could kill players while you were doing that but the main focus of the cold war event wasn't to just kill players for the warzone nuke event it was a bit different you had zombies involved if you turned into a zombie you had to stop the players from exfilling the map and all the different stuff with rebirth as well so the nuke event was really pvp but for this here it's completely pve and they go into detail as to what exactly we're fighting and if you follow call of duty on twitter or you've seen any of the promotional marketing for this event you would know that it's going to be all about an armored train in warzone now we talked about an armored train on the channel a while back being a part of this reveal event and here it really is the main focus in all these images in this here youtubers were getting sent some blueprints of the armored train you could also see an armored train blueprint in warzone itself and also, if you go into Warzone, I'll show a picture of where I am up on screen if you guys want to check this out for yourselves before the event, but there is an armored train, it seems like, crashed in a tunnel in Verdansk right now, teasing what we're going to be seeing for this event. I feel like the armored train itself during the event will be a bit more beefed up than what we see in Verdansk right now, but, you know, we'll see very soon what's happening tomorrow. It's not all going to be about the armored train, but it definitely will be the main focus of what we're battling here. And to go through some early info here, there's going to be a bunch of different quests and missions to complete during this event. This is from the Game Revolution, so shout to him. A link to his channel will be down below in the description. We have Ambush, bomb map and stash so different types of challenges different things to do during the event itself call of duty's official marketing seem to elaborate a bit more on one of the missions a part of the event they say target incoming a heavily armored train is en route to verdansk grab the tnt coordinate and use it at the ambush point schematics show turrets are weak points take them out then take out the cars squad up and work together to defeat the target so really cool stuff here and overall it won't be a big secret as to what we have to do to complete the different quests tomorrow during the event they'll tell us in game exactly where to go what to do call of duty's already teasing it to us right here as well so we'll know exactly what's going on tomorrow now let's go through some other early info of the free rewards blueprints stuff like that that you're gonna get for participating in this event first off we have the dark forest rpd blueprint we have the republic impaler knife blueprint the 
timetable watch, the Siberian Strider dirt bike blueprint, and we also have a little shark charm, flashing sides emblem. So pretty cool stuff there overall. And for the event itself, the atmosphere overall should be really cool. Already in the Warzone main menu, you have a countdown to the event. I love the marketing. I love the stuff in game when they hype up a new big reveal for the Cold War reveal event for the Warzone nuke event. I love seeing the countdown timers, the special red playlist, all that good stuff. Also in Warzone, we're going to have these Vanguard supply drops and other probably Vanguard themed items in the map during the event as well. So be on the lookout for that. But some more stuff here now, shifting gears to Vanguard overall. This gameplay trailer is going to also be revealed tomorrow. Can't wait to see what that's going to look like. All of the rumors and leaks about people seeing it early. There were a bunch of different early access events where influencers got to see early gameplay of Vanguard or at least the reveal event for this game. And it's all leaking out to be really, really cool. Tom Henderson goes a step further here and apparently sees some actual campaign gameplay. So no spoilers here, but this is what he says. I've just watched a campaign mission of Vanguard on the PS5. It's probably one of the best looking games on current gen consoles. It's a bold statement to make, but it looks beautiful. Even for a mission set on the night before the D-Day landings, it looks very crisp. No gray wash that we typically see in Call of Duty. It looks like they've used the PS5 to its full potential. A lot of playing with shadows and lighting, fire, gunshots, and that sort of thing. So again, I know this could be just his opinion. It's subjective, of course. But if you know Tom Henderson, you would know that he's fairly objective in his analysis of things. Only a couple of months ago, he was giving us info from his insider sources that Vanguard was in a very terrible state. It wasn't looking good and all that other stuff really negative responses and now it's all positive because he's been seeing a lot of good stuff info gameplay coming out of this game which is so so exciting to see so for him to say this here is a pretty decent sign to have here about how good this game is going to be and of course graphics are one thing good graphics are really sick but for me what's a bit more important is the replayability value now for the campaign that might be different the campaign is just good storytelling good graphics and you really need to replay it again but for the multiplayer the zombies that's really going to be the big test as to is there going to be a reason to go back in this game into the game modes and play over and over and over again. The real indicator for that will be the alpha, the beta, and eventually once the game actually comes out. But overall here, good graphics is a win in my books for sure. Today we finally got the Marshall added to Black Ops Cold War and Warzone. And here's how to unlock this pistol here for multiplayer using pistols, get a headshot kill in 15 different completed matches, and for zombies using pistols, kill 30 disciples while they have at least five zombies under their control so overall they're pretty cool i think the overall consensus right now with this new weapon is that it's pretty good in multiplayer and zombies not as good in warzone but let me know down below how do you feel about this weapon is it good in the game do you have a specific class setup you like to use let me know down below that's pretty much it here for this video thank you guys for watching hope you guys did enjoy let me know down below are you hyped for the vanguard reveal event the gameplay trailer all the new multiplayer stuff coming very soon the alpha and beta also on the horizon i'm super excited to finally see a new game play a new game i like the world War two setting i'm always hyped to see what a new call of duty has to offer so really excited for all this stuff here cod champs is also this weekend starting right after the vanguard reveal event and there's a bunch of hidden free rewards that you guys can get and you might be missing out on because a lot of people just don't know about this here so let's go through how exactly to get these rewards be sure to have an activision account sign up link your accounts with YouTube. So link your Activision with your YouTube channel and be sure to watch the stream. And that's pretty much it. You'll just get these rewards as you watch the Call of Duty Championship stream. You also get a variety of different free rewards every day you watch the champ stream. Let's start off with Thursday. We have double XP, 60 minutes. You have some different weapon stickers. You have 60 minutes of Battle Pass XP. Friday, double XP, another hour there. Another 60 minutes of Battle Pass double XP. Saturday, there's a randomized drop. Watch throughout Saturday for a chance to receive a CDL 2021 champs pack code drop really cool there cod timing calling card unlocks 30 minutes in 30 minute double xp token unlocks an hour into the stream some new venom classic vivid weapon stickers 60 minute battle pass xp as well championship sunday we have a sweep emblem thunderclap calling card the cdl champs 2021 xm4 which is super cool 60 minutes of double xp standy temp and huke weapon stickers 
finally 60 minutes of battle pass double xp so overall really cool stuff there be sure to just watch the stream and you'll automatically get those rewards and also here is my bracket that i made for cod champs this year this might be a little bit of a meme dallas empire going through the losers bracket to win the event would be kind of crazy they did it before a while ago they could do it again just a really crazy bracket idea i had but overall i would definitely be super excited to see optic win a championship it's been such a long time since infinite warfare is the last time they won champs toronto ultra winning as well would be pretty cool so let me know down below who do you think is going to win cod champs there are two videos up on screen that may interest you so be sure to check one of them out really do appreciate guys shout out to the youtube channel members as always and i will see you guys in the next video or a live stream peace out guys